Hello class, I just wanna make this video about the FIFO per perpetual inventory. So here's the example. This is the beginning inventory for Dune Company and data on purchases and sales for a three month period ending June 30 or as follows. So we're gonna use this to complete this cost of goods sold sheet here. Okay, so we'll go through this and take a look at this. All right, so to begin with, we are going to look at the first one, April 30th inventory, okay? And let's go down to it. So on here it says 25 units inventory, $1,200 per, per unit. So we're, we're gonna go and fill this out. April 30th, we're going to <clears throat> put in here, we got 25, okay, cost of 1,200. So 25 times 1,200, I have my calculator here, 25 times 1,200 gives us 30,000. Okay, April 8th now, purchase of 75 units at $1,240, total 9,300. Okay, so let's go down here. We, we got 75 units at $1,240 and it said 9,300 or 93,000, okay? All right, so let's see now, where are we at? So 25, 1,200, and this will be 30,000. I just noticed I put 3,000, that'll be 30,000, okay? Right here will be 75, not 74, 75 at 1240, 93,000, okay? And let's see, April, April 11, sales 40 at $2,000 per unit time total 80,000, okay? So let's see what this looks like, April 11th. We sold 25, I believe. Okay. So hang on, we sold 40, but what we have to do is we have to take our older inventory, these 25 in here initially, we're gonna sell those first, because remember, we're doing FIFO, FIFO, first in, first out. So we gotta get rid of our first ones in, the twelve hundred dollar ones, uh, that's going to be thirty thousand. Remember, these are that's that was our cost. Okay, now we're also going to put bring another fifteen. That cost us um, how much was it? Twelve hundred and forty dollars. So fifteen times twelve forty. Fifteen times twelve forty is going to equal eighteen eighteen sixty or eighteen six hundred. Okay. So we're left uh, with some units. Okay, we're left with some units. Let's see. So let's see. We'll have 60 left. 60 left at 1240. Okay, and that'll be, hang on. 60 times 1240. Gives us 74, 400. Okay. 74, 400. Right. So, and all I did was 75 minus 15. That's how I'm getting 60. We have 60 units left of the, of that original amount. Okay. Now, April 30th. Sale of 30 units. For two thousand per unit, and we get cost us sixty thousand. Okay, so thirty units, twelve four hundred twelve one thousand two hundred forty. So if I took that thirty times twelve forty, that's going to give me thirty seven thousand two hundred. Okay. Now, because we did that, we have, we're gonna use 30 units, okay? 
and that's going to be the 1240 price. So 30 times 1240 gives us 37,200. Okay. All right, here we go. So what that means is we have 30 left at that 12,400 price. Remember, we got to get rid of the first ones in. Okay. Now, May 8th says purchase 60 at 1260 for 75,600. Okay. So we purchased 60 at $1,260 per unit, and that gives us 75,600. Okay. And let's see. So we have the we have 30 steel of the 12 for 12,000 or 1,240, and that costs us 37,200. Okay. Now we got to put these 60 new units for 1260 into our inventory, and that costs us 75,600. Now all you do is look at this price right there. Okay. All right. So May 10. Sale of 50 units at 2,000 for $100,000. Okay, so we sold. So we, yeah, we sold. So we're going to, how many units did we sell? We sold 50 units. Okay, 50 units. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, remember right here we had 30. So we have to take these 30 and sell those first. 30 at 12.4, 12, 40 at 37,200, okay, 37,200. That's how much it is. Now, we still need 20 more. So 20 at the 1260 price, okay, because we ran out of the 1240 ones. Now we're going for at the 1260 ones. So 20 times, 20 times 1260 equals 25,200, 25,200, okay. So 60 minus 40, or 60 minus 20 is 40 at the 1260 price, which that's gonna be 40 times 1260 equals 50,400. Okay, that's our balance. That's how many we have left. We have 40 units left. May 19, we sold another 20 more, $2,000 for 2,000 per unit. And 4,000, 40,000 was our, how much we, we got, okay? Or that was our cost. So we sold 20 more at the 1260 price and we got 25,200. Okay, all I did was 12 times, well, I knew right here 12 times 1260 is 2520. So, but if you wanna double check, 12, 20 times 1260 equals 25,200, that's correct, okay? So that leaves us with the balance of 20 because 40 minus 20, okay, we have 20 left at 1260. So 20 times 1260, oh, well, I already know, it'll be 25,200, okay? This is what we have left in there. All right, so this is kind of a running running quantity and however many we have left. Okay, so let's go to May 28th. We purchased 80 units at 1260 for 100,800. So 80 units, 1260, so good luck, you got the same price, $100,800. <clears throat> now we still have 20 units. The, this is just the, the total from right above here, 1260. That's gonna be 25,200. Okay, now we got to put our 80 units into our inventory at 1260, and then this will be 100,800. Okay, now June 5th, we, we had a sale of 40 at 20 for 22, $2,250, and we received $90, $90,000. Okay, so we going to sell 40 at 1260. How many do we sell again? We sold 40, okay, we sold 40. We sold 40. At 12, 
1260. And we see 40 times 1260. 40 times 1260 gives us, oh, 40 times 1260 gives us 50,400. Okay. And let's see what happens here. And notice how I took 20 from here and 20 from here. Okay. So if I take 20 away from, and by the way, the 1260 prices were the same. So in here, if my balance was 80 minus 20, then I'm going to have 60 left over at 1260. So 60 times 1260 is going to be 75,600, 75,600. Okay. That's my balance now. June 16th. Sale of 25 at 22.50 and total 56.250, okay. All right, so June 16, we sold 25 at 12.60 again for N. <clears throat> so 25 times 12.60 gives me 31.500, okay. And right here, what we're gonna get is 60 minus 25, this balance minus 25 will give us 35. Oh, not that, oops. That's supposed to be 60. This will be 35. And all I did was this 60 right here minus this 25, because we took them out, times our 1260. So let's see, 1260 times 35 gives us 44,100, 44,100. Okay, moving right along. So this is what we have. This is our, our inventory right now, this box right here, or these three boxes or these three cells right here. Okay, June 21, purchase 35 units for 1264. So the price went up on us and we, it cost us 44,240. Okay, so 35 times 1264, put $4 on us. What is it? Uh, okay, 35, 35 times 1264 gives us 44,240, 44,240. I think that's what it's set up here. Yeah, 44,240, okay. Now, right here, this is our balance. We have 35 of the 1260, which will be $44,100. Now, these new ones we just brought in, just double check, yep, 35. We have 35 and it costs us 12.64, which this is our, how much it costs us? 44.240. Okay, so these are, these are our units in right now. So June 28th. Sale of 44 for 22.5, 22.50 and $9,900 total. Okay, so 35 of our initial units. 35 of the year, 1260 ones. So 1260, that's gonna equal 44,100. And this is, the, this is the value that I'm looking for. Now we have an additional, cause we only use 35, but we, we sold 44, okay? So it looks like we're gonna need nine, nine of the 1264 units. So nine times 12, 1264 equals 11,376, 11,376. All I did was multiply these two, okay? That's gonna give us a balance. 35 minus nine gives us 26 units at the 1264 price. So 26 times 1264 gives us 32,864, okay? Now we're gonna look at our balances. So I'm gonna add this column up right here, total costs. Cost of goods sold. Remember, cost of goods sold closes out to our income statement, and our inventory closes out to our to our um, balance sheet. Now, keep in mind here, we don't need to add these ones up. Okay, we don't add these up because this is our our ending inventory balance. So, thirty two eight sixty four. That's straight there. Now, to get my my total here, like I said, I got to add up this total cost in this column right here where this open cell is. So let me get my calculator out. 30,000 
plus 18,600 plus 37,200 plus another 37,200 plus 25,200 plus another 25,200 plus 50,400 plus 31,500 plus 44,100 plus 11,376 equals 310,000. Okay, come on, what's going on here? Come on, oh, there we go. 310,776. Okay. Now, recording our sales. Okay, recording our sales. So our sales, we would go and add up our sales. Purchase, so our sales. I'm going to add up our sales, which is this. Anytime it says sales, we get this value because 40 times 200, 30 times 200, okay. So our sale, 80,000 plus 60,000, this is the value right here, plus 100,000 plus 40,000 plus 90,000 plus 56,250 plus 99,000. So I get 525,200. So I'm gonna go account receivable, 525,220. Now I'm gonna do sales, because remember this closes out, this is, we're getting revenue, 525,220, okay? Now we're gonna record our costs. Now keep in mind, this column did our total costs, 310,776. So that's our cost of goods sold column, 310,776 right here. Okay, now this is coming out of our inventory, 310,776, okay. Now it's asking us three, determine the gross profit. So gross profit is revenues minus expenses or sales minus expenses. So 525,220 525, minus our cost of goods sold of 310,776 equals 200 and two, 214, Seven four. Okay, let me just double check this. So five two five. Two two zero. Minus three ten seven seven six equals. I'm getting two fourteen four four four. Okay, something's off here. Something is off here. Three ten seven seven six five hundred twenty five thousand two hundred. Okay, duh. This should be two hundred and fifty typos. Okay, let me check it now. Five two five two five zero minus, and all I'm doing is looking at these numbers. Three ten seven seven six. Okay, two fourteen seven four seven four seven four. Okay. Determine the ending inventory. Okay, our ending inventory is going to be this 32864. 32864. Okay. Based upon the preceding data, would you expect the ending inventory using the last in first out method to be higher or lower? So we're doing first in, first out. So we're going to do last in, first out. So it's saying looking at what's going to happen if you did. Um, last in first out, okay, would be, would, it's asking, or is our ending inventory can be higher or lo lower? Okay, so um, the way it's set up, it'll be, it won't be higher because it's 
it'll be actually lower because the value is going to be um, is going to be lower because um, uh, the these lower costs up here, this 1200, 1200, 1240, these costs would still be in. So remember, we ended up with 35 units, 26 units in our ending inventory. Well, we'd have to go this 25 plus 1200 plus another another one of this 1241. So notice how this value would be lower. Okay. In fact, if, if I really wanted to, it'd be 30,000 plus another 1240 or no. Yeah, another 1240, so 31,240 compared to 32,864. 32, that's why it would be lower. Okay. And I just did the math really quickly. Okay. So let's check our work. Hopefully, cross your fingers for all green. Okay. Oh, good. Look at those. All green, all green, all green. Good green. Green for good, green for good. Okay, perfect. All right. If you have questions, uh, let me know. All right. Um, again, this is the this is the problem, and very similar to the homework one. It's PR 6 one b It's not uh, one of the homework problems. It's the, it was one of the more difficult ones for for FIFO. Remember, if you're doing um, LIFO, you're going to look at your last in first. Okay. Also, if you're looking at uh, weight average, you're you're going to weigh the prices with the unit costs okay so this is what this one looks like so let me end this now okay there we go